What's happening YouTube? Owen here from Dark Entertainment, the place to hear tales from Wales and afar. If you're into creepy experiences donated by people like yourself, then feel free to like and subscribe for more content. Now, let's get into the video. Welcome to episode 2, The Plough and Harrow. The Plough and Harrow is a small pub in the area of Monk Nash, just a short drive from Dlandwood Major in South Wales. The area itself is steeped in a very rich but very dark history. Situated just behind the pub are the remains of a monastery. The monastery itself controlled a vast area of land from the main road, which was originally the property boundary, all the way to the sea. These ancient structures once dominated the landscape, but fell with Henry VIII's great disillusion. Only ruins now remain. The trail running from the Plough and Harrow down to the sea is called Cum Nash, and has an incredibly dark and disturbing set of stories associated with it. Despite being incredibly beautiful to see, do not go at night. The ruins of the old mill contain much darker things than the sound of trickling water in Birdsong. These stories have been covered by a local historian named Carl James Langford, who also runs a ghost and history tour in the area. A link to his lecture on the subject will be listed in the description. Since these are his stories to tell, and his research that has inspired me to create this video, I will only touch briefly on the history. However, the dark occurrences of the past are interwoven with the stories belonging to the pub itself. Part of the monastery still exists and can be seen in the field behind the plough and harrow, and part of it has been converted into the pub itself. Seems straightforward enough, right? Well, this is where things get darker. The monks who lived at the monastery could hardly be called pious. They had a very sinister hobby. Since they controlled the land from the pub all the way to the sea, they had say who entered the boundaries. They could do what they want in this area. For many years, the monks dashed merchant ships on the rocks at Monk Nash Beach, killing all aboard. The monks would then pillage the wreckage for themselves. Even today, the cliffs overlooking the beach occasionally revealed the remains of sailors long dead. The monks then carted the bodies and wares of these unfortunate souls back to the monastery for burial. The monastic morgue is the current dining room of the Plough and Harrow. So, being so steeped in dark deeds, what have the current staff experienced? Let's get into the ghost stories. Several staff came forward during our short visit, stating that they'd experienced strange occurrences. All have experienced the sound of footsteps walking in the rooms above, despite the landlord's apartments no longer being occupied, and witnessed the various decorative hangings violently shaking on the walls. In some instances, these ornaments have been thrown clean from the hooks. However, this poltergeist activity isn't restrained to the dining room. The staff have stated that they have heard the sounds of pots and pans moving in the kitchen, where there is no one in the kitchen to move them. Several times, members of staff have put down mundane objects such as pens or drinks, only to have them moved to a different location of their own accord. These are frequent occurrences. There are, however, much darker stories that make the staff so uneasy that they hate to be alone in the pub at night. The chef of the pub stated that he had seen a dark apparition. From behind the bar, he had witnessed a black featureless figure walk from the corner of the room in a straight line through the tables and pews towards the door before disappearing into thin air. Another of the bar staff stated that when alone one night in the empty pub, he heard the sound of a whistle come from behind him. Turning expecting to see a customer waiting to be served, 
He was shocked to find the bar completely empty. So, are the treacherous monks still present at this astounding pub? I'll leave it to you to find out. That's it from us here at Dark Entertainment. We hope that you've enjoyed this episode. Be sure to like and subscribe for more episodes. Ta-ta!